A visit to Stamheim jail is like a trip back to one of Germany's nightmares. This is prison block one, floor seven, a maximum security wing locked away from the rest of the jail. The cells here were built for the Bader-Meinhof gang, known too as the Red Army faction. It terrorized West Germany for more than 20 years. Capitalism was its enemy, its targets for assassination, businessmen, judges, and US servicemen. The group was seen as such a threat to the state that many of its leaders have spent longer behind bars than any Nazi war criminal ever convicted in Germany. It was in this cell that one of the founders of the Red Army faction, Andreas Bader, committed suicide. He shot himself in the head with a gun which had been smuggled into the prison. New leaders continued the fight and the terror until they too were arrested and jailed. And today, it's the prospect of their release which is causing such controversy. Prisoners like Brigitte Monhaupt and Christian Klar. They've both served 24 years in jail, but today Monhaupt was granted parole and Klar is hoping for a presidential pardon. The man who helped to convict them is prosecutor Klaus Flieger. Guarded by three police officers round the clock, he spent years gathering evidence against the Red Army. 30 years uh, there was a fear in Germany and you feel it until now I think and uh, the normal people uh, is asking if our state is strong enough uh, to let free this uh, uh, Red Army uh, prisoners. The list of Monhaupt and Klaas crimes spills over onto hundreds of pages. In the 1970s, they paralyzed the West German establishment with bomb attacks, kidnappings and killings. Their most prominent victim was industrialist Hans Martin Schleyer. He was abducted, held captive for six weeks and then murdered. Hans Martin Schleyer's family believes the killers should express remorse before they're released. I can't understand that we will take them out because there is within the last 30 years, there's nothing they say, okay, we are sorry, we are on the false way, we are uh, murdered your father. No remorse, absolutely not, nothing, nothing, till today. But some believe it is time for leniency. Our democracy, it is stable enough to release such perpetrators who 20, 30 years before hoped to revolutionize this violence, our political system. Germany may feel secure enough now to move on, but not the families of the victims. From the Red Army prisoners, they want a sign of repentance. Instead, there's just silence from the cells. Steve Rosenberg, BBC News, Stuttgart.